Welcome to Bill's Tip of the Day, Monday, February 4th, 2013. Today we'll cover the first cousin of new minor forcing, fourth suit forcing. In an uncontested auction, if the partnership has bid all four suits in whatever order, the bit, the, the bit of the fourth suit is always forcing, so perhaps it's a misnomer to say fourth suit forcing. It's really a convention. A more descriptive term might be fourth suit artificial, because it is artificial. It doesn't really show the fourth suit. Bidding of the fourth suit is illogical by its nature, so it is not suggested that this is a trump suit. What is the meaning of the bid? Translation. I do not have a descriptive bid. I don't know what to bid. I want to be in game. One of the things that force suit forcing does is beyond beyond forcing is it's forcing to game. That's one of the reasons to bidding. It might be a filler bid, but it says I want to be in game. There's one exception to that, and that's the exception where you bid the sequence right up the line all at the one level. In this case, the last bid, four spades, is the four suit. It's forcing, but only for one round. If you want to force the game in this sequence, you jump to two spades. It does not promise anything in the four suit except in this particular case. Here's some of the potential reasons why responder might use fourth suit forcing. Perhaps he is interested in no trump. He has a strength for three no trump, but he does not have the fourth suit stopper. It's just the opposite of showing it's like a qubit, a reverse qubit. He doesn't, doesn't have a stopper. He's hoping that his partner does and he can bid three no trump. Maybe he's hoping that partner can raise his five card suit. His first suit that he bid was a five card major suit. Maybe partner has three card fit. He hasn't denied a three card fit and it might play better there. He may want to raise partner's suit if partner has length but he wants more description of his partner. It might also be in a minor suit. And in the minor suit he doesn't want to play games so it may also be that he expects a slam in partner's minor but he wants to be sure that it doesn't get passed out short of game. And jumping will eliminate the opportunity for more descriptive bidding. Four suit forcing allows the partners to describe their hand more fully, much like a two over one bid. Remember the bidding the four suit is alertable if you use it as a convention and also it is forcing, forcing to game except in one specific case. It sets a game forcing sequence where each side can describe their hand more fully. Very similar to two over one sequences which we'll be getting into in the next day or two. And again one exception. In this case one spade does show a real suit. What is opener's third bid after four suit forcing? Simply put, partner says, I don't know what to bid, give me a clue. So you describe your hand more fully. First priority is to show delayed support for partner's first bid suit, which is nine times out of ten a major suit. Bid no trump with a stopper in the fourth suit. Partner hasn't promised coverage in that fourth suit. If you can't do that, make the most descriptive bid at the cheapest level. The game force is in effect, so there's no reason to jump. Raise the fourth suit only as a last resort because it's not a normal bid, and then only with four card support. And I ought to add a caveat don't ever jump in the fourth suit. That is really bad. As a responder, what if you have the fourth suit? It's possible. Partner has bid two suits. You have the other two. 
a partner can't have four card support for your suit because he bid other suits he might have three card support is possible with a four card suit don't worry about it just bid no trump or make some other bid but if you have a good five card suit bid the fourth suit but jump very descriptive bid we'll go through some examples common sense resides south opens one spade you bid two clubs with this hand partner now bids two diamonds what's your bid well you have enough strength to bid play in three no trump but you don't have a heart stopper what's your bid four suit forcing you don't have a heart stop bid two hearts hopefully partner can bid no trump notice he can bid two no trump even if you don't play two over one because you created a game forcing situation next hand your partner opens a diamond, you bid a heart. Your partner now bids spades. You have the fourth suit in this case, and you have five cards in the fourth suit. You have a beautiful hand. You haven't found a fit yet, unfortunately. What's your bid? Don't bid two clubs, jump. Bid three clubs. Game forcing situation. You play in no trump, one of your suits or one of his suits. Still don't know yet. But one thing for certain, you play in game. Here's another example. Partner opens a heart. You bid a spade. Partner now bids two diamonds. What's your bid? Well, you have enough strength to be in game. What do you think you should bid? You just bid it. Three no trump. You've got all the suits covered. you got clubs covered, spades. He's bid the red suit. you got the black suit bid what you think you can make. Don't use four suit forcing. No need to. Next case. Partner opens a spade. You bid two clubs. Partner bids two diamonds. What's your bid? If you play two over one, and we'll get into that tomorrow, just bid two spades. You show three card support. You're in a game forcing situation, and so on. If you don't play two over one, you can't really bid two spades because your hand's too strong. Your partner could even pass you. So use four suit forcing. You'll end up playing it in spades, at least at game. Now, in the next two examples, you're on the other side of the table. Partner has made a four suit forcing bid. What? Do, how do you respond to it? You describe your hand straightforwardly. You open a spade, your partner bids two clubs. You bid two hearts, you're showing your second suit. Your partner bids three diamonds, four suit forcing. What do you want to do? Partner has said, describe your hand more fully. Well, he doesn't know you have five hearts. He expects you to have five four. So, show your hearts again. Bid three hearts. No need to jump. Four suit forcing has created a game forcing situation. Partner can decide where he wants to play. Next case, you open a spade, partner responds to club, you bid two hearts this time, you're five four, partner bids three diamonds. What's your bid? Show your diamond stop. You may be wanting to play in three no trump and you do have the king of diamonds coming up to you. Three no trump could be the best contract. So in summary, Use four suit forcing. It improves your selection of contracts, but don't use it indiscriminately. Use it only when it makes sense. If you know what to bid, bid it. That's what Marty Bergen says, good advice. Add four suit forcing to your ACBL convention card. It goes under the other conventional calls. I have it circled here. And I have it marked here as four suit forcing is forcing to game except after the one situation which we covered in some detail. And remember, four suit forcing is alertable, and four suit forcing is forcing. That's kind of <laughs> goes without saying. Let's find the right place to play, bid slowly, and arrive at the right game contract. Good luck.